guys, welcome back. Join us as we head to Tulangi, one of our favourite spots within an hour of Melbourne. We want to see how far our standard road tyres will get us in this state forest. There are tracks for every type of car and skill level. If you love four-wheel driving, you'll love Tulangi. We try to do as many tracks as we can and make it out in time for a pub meal when some poor decisions were made. We'll also be checking out a few of the walks, including one that leads us to a giant and ash tree. 16 metres. As we know, it's a girth that counts. <laughs> Stick around for some bonus footage at the end. Let's get into it. Tulangi State Forest is 80 kilometres northeast of Melbourne. It is home to some awesome four-wheel drive tracks and walking trails. Tulangi means tall trees and you can see why. We enjoy the beautiful scenery on our drive-in and it's not long before we turn down our first track and things start to get bumpy. We weave our way through and find the well-known blowhard track. We drive over rocks, puddles and down super steep and bumpy declines. We've all seen enough YouTube videos to know that it isn't easy to show gradients and we tried to capture them from as many angles as we could. Why do we come out here? This is why. It's peaceful, quiet, no traffic, just nature at its finest. We gave ourselves a day to explore and try each track that we came across. We gave them all a red hot go and got through without any damage to the car. And we didn't get stuck. There are tracks at Tulangi that can get pretty hectic, but you can also find some that are okay to do with most four wheel drives. There are tracks here for everyone. We are on standard road tires and we are happy with that at this stage. We're thinking about getting a bull bar and winch for the car, just for the peace of mind, mainly because we often go out four wheel driving on our own but it would be good to have as a just in case. We do take some basic recovery gear with us whenever we go out. There are tracks that are still closed for the season and there are also tracks that are blocked by fallen trees. We went down one track that almost had us turning back. This, this one had a very large tree that had fallen across and our chainsaw was not enough to tackle it. We were determined to keep going so we went for a quick walk to see if there was another way around. Luckily we found one and continued on. Wirrawilla Rainforest Walk is a very short one kilometre walk that takes you along a boardwalk that is also wheelchair accessible. It is a lovely and refreshing walk amongst the Myrtle Beach and Sassafras trees. A good idea to do this walk on a warm day as it can be quite cool in the undergrowth. There is another walk, the Tanglefoot Loop, that is a much longer hike at 10 kilometres. The guide recommends two to three hours to complete. This is one that we will do on our next visit and hopefully we will camp here also. There are no designated camping sites, however, you can camp at any clearing within the state forest. The Karatha Giant Tree Walk is a quick little hike to see a very giant tree. The trees in Tulangi are all quite tall, but this one really takes the cake. As it was starting to get dark, we decided to end our day and head out for a pub meal. This is where the poor decision making actually became a brilliant move. Way out of the forest, we noticed a sign that indicated a lookout tower not far away. Always the adventurers, we take the turn, which would have been the poor decision, and proceed down the track in the dark. We were surprised with some awesome wildlife that crossed our path. The animals had been quiet all day. And just when we thought we wouldn't see any, we spotted wallabies, wombats, and a deer. That last one we were not expecting. The track was pretty long, or maybe it just seemed that way because we were tired and hungry. We ended up finding a really muddy patch that almost got us. We considered getting the max tracks out, but a bit of clever maneuvering and patience got us through and we were finally out. Now we were on the hunt for somewhere to eat. We headed to the closest town we thought would be open, which was Hillsville. The first pub we went into had just closed the kitchen and after trying a few other places, we finally came across the Terminus Hotel. The kitchen was still open and we had an incredible feed. This is not sponsored, we were just so grateful to find a place. Please like this video, subscribe and sit back to watch the satisfying car wash at the end of our day.